All right, hi everyone. Welcome here today to video and presentation of this Volvo XC70 at uh, Delaware Auto Sales here. My name is Nathan. Uh, this Volvo is got to be one of the more standout ones available in the market right now. This is a 2004 XC70 cross country all wheel drive. And this car has 36,000 and change miles 36 i think it's 36,004 or 500 unbelievable low 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 miles uh silver metallic outside it's oak leather inside this is a one owner with a clean carfax i'm going to show you around the inside the outside under the hood of course uh carfax will say two owners it's counting the dealership here as being the second owner um, but it is a one owner car. There are some service record entries on the Carfax report. You can take a look at those. Let's take a little walk around here and then I'm going to show you a few little imperfections on the body. But what a neat, a neat, neat wagon. Um, I love these wagons. Uh, I love wagons in general. Um, also take note that this has uh, the crossbars on the roof. These are oh about $400 from Volvo for these nice uh, crossbars that are look the best probably other than you know ones that have uh, attachments for skis and kayaks and things like that that you may need factory power sunroof works great um, but uh, I love these wagons I personally drove one uh, silver just like this but with black or charcoal interior uh, for about six years um, and I loved it uh, mine was a 2002 so a couple years older than this but the same body style um, Maybe it was a 2001. I don't know. This body style went from 2001 to 2007. I think mine was a 2001, which was the first year. And the first few years, these were actually known for potentially transmission issues. Uh, but here, starting in 04 and beyond, they uh, corrected whatever that was. And the likelihood is uh, uh, definitely not there like it was on the early ones. But my car had... Uh, very much more mileage than this. My car had about 160, I think it was 160, 165, maybe it was, uh, 166, I think, thousand miles. When I started driving it, I drove it for about six years and I had 240,000, so 200,000 more miles than this one um, on mine when I sold it. And there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. I just sold it because I had decided to drive an Audi all-road wagon with a manual transmission, which was equally an amazing wagon. Take note of how clear the headlights are, but then also take note that these are glass. All these manufacturers now should stick to the old days and use glass. The reason those are so nice and so clean and don't fade like all these other cars nowadays, um, these are glass. So they, they, they just, they don't fade. They still look great. This car has Xenon lights. I'll turn those on in a moment, I'll show you those. Um, so that's the overall outside. It is in great shape. Let me tell you real quick about uh, the service work we did. And I'm gonna show you some imperfections on the outside because I believe in being transparent about everything. Um, this, uh, we replaced in our service facility, we inspected the car. We replaced the rear engine mount, um, a new rear lower control arm uh, new wiper blades front and rear, including the wiper blades on the little headlights. Um, a new cabin filter and alignment and oil service. Um, tires have 7.30 seconds tread remaining in the front and they have 8.30 seconds tread remaining in the rear. As you can see, they're Michelin Defenders. Nice tires, great tires for this car. Uh, brakes have 10 millimeters remaining in the front and the rear. So 10 millimeters on the brakes is um, just like new and tires at seven and eight still have plenty of time, especially being Michelins. You can see the tread there. I really like the design of this wheel. This is a little bit different than the design that I had on mine. All the wheels are in good shape. Uh, let's, I'm gonna go around and show you all the wheels, and while I do that, I'm gonna show you the imperfections that I've noted. You can see these scratches here on this plastic. I don't know if they had a briar bush in their driveway or what. There's also some uh, white paint marks here on the plastic that we were unable to get off with our detailing. Um, the sides are pretty clean and straight, no real uh, door dings or damage. There's a few scratches back here on the quarter panel that we had touched up with a professional paint touch-up company that we use that uh, does a nice job of 
matching touch-up paint for marks that need touch-up like the ones right there on the door I just pointed out. Uh, tire size 215, 65, 60, and there's the rear tread. And here's this rear wheel. Um, what else? Uh, there's a scuff here on this bumper corner. <laughs> um, the good thing about these bumpers are that they're not painted, um, but you do still see the scuffs right here. I'm wondering if it was an older person driving this with the low mileage and whatnot, but I honestly don't know, so I'm not going to tell you what I don't know. Um, and then down here, <laughs> down here they scratched, at least they scratched the plastic and not the paint, but I don't know what they rubbed against here, but they scratched the plastic here, 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 along here, you know, it's, um, and then same thing here, you can see this, uh, this rub, this abrasive rub, I don't know if they did that. You know, it almost looks like maybe a tight fit in the garage and rubbing up against something in the garage. At least it's not on the paint. You know, the paint and the body of the car is fantastic. I suppose if you were extremely particular, uh, I would imagine that these pieces are still available to replace like that wheel arch and some of that plastic. It would certainly clean up the car even a little bit more. Um, the inside's remarkable. I'm gonna go over that here in a moment. Um, everything works. As far as I as far as I know I'm gonna turn on the headlights so you can see the um, xenon lights <clears throat> there's the so the lights that were on were the daytime running lights these are the actual headlights which are xenon there's the fog lights on I turned on so uh, mine did not have factory xenons but I had them put in and uh, starting, I think, I think 03 might have been, or this might have been 04, the first year for the factory Xenon headlights, which is certainly an improvement over the 0123s. Um, so, very nice. Original windshield. These cars are timeless and just good looking. Uh, at least if you like wagons, there's no reason not to like this car. It's comfortable, it rides nice, it gets great gas mileage. I drove mine year round and I never, ever got stuck in any kind of snow, any kind of snow. I mean, one year that I had it, we had snow, uh, you know, 12 inches deep and I remember plowing through it in mine and it, I never felt like the car was ever going to get stuck. So they do a great job in all weather conditions and extremely safe as we all know, if you really know Volvos, very, very safe cars, very, very reliable all about safety if you want to watch an impressive uh, volvo wagon actually um, demonstration of their safety it's a different generation than this it's a, a mid 90s early 2000s there's a youtube video called the indestructible volvo i would highly recommend you watch it it is hysterical uh there's some uh like like uh, funny music going on while they're trying to destroy this car and it's a burgundy colored um, I might try I might put a link to it in the description of this video or in the comments um, but it's a burgundy colored like 2000 850 wagon uh, not late 90s to or 2000 somewhere in there and it's in they're speaking I don't know what language but it's somewhere I'm assuming in Europe and they're trying to, they're in a junkyard and they're crashing this car every which way they can. They're rolling it, they're crashing it, they're taking out little Yugos with it and the Volvo just keeps on going. It's a, it's a great video, it's really funny to watch too. Um, I forgot to point this out, there's a little uh, dent-ish uh, that also had to have some touch-up paint right here on the tip of the fender. Doesn't look too bad from a few feet away, but <clears throat> it was uh, dented a little more. Maybe something fell in that same garage on this. Uh, we had the dent pushed out to the best of what we could get it to look with professional paintless dent removal. So a few little things on the outside, but the inside and the low miles certainly make up for it. Um, there's really nothing negative on the inside that I can recall, but we're going to go through it here. Um, love the zigzag stitching on the door panels on these cars this has all of the factory berber uh, style carpet snap-in mats and then it has some all weather volvo mats in the trunk i'll show you the driver's side seat is just as nice as it should be for thirty thousand miles um, power seat memory seat side airbags front to back in this 
Um, <clears throat> shut the door to get rid of the beeper. Uh, there's the exact mileage, 30, I was close, 36,496. Uh, no warning lights on. Here's the information center on the left. You have no messages. This will tell you your distance to empty, your average miles per gallon, which is probably not accurate right now. Instant miles per gallon and such. Um, this um, has steering wheel audio controls here, cruise controls here. Uh, air conditioning works great. It's on right now. Works fantastic. Um, definitely do not believe this to have been a smoker's car. It smells great in here. Dashboard is in very nice shape. <clears throat> Let me move the papers here so you can see the rest. Very nice. Even the original airbag warning label is still on the dashboard, which when we detailed this, we left it on because we thought it was kind of cool that it was still there. I love uh, Volvo's uh, climate control system here. Um, there's the cup holders. There's a big compartment down here. There's this nice sturdy armrest. Another compartment in there. Um, the leather on the handbrake handle is in good shape. The leather on the shifter is cracking. This is very common. They all do this. It, I don't know. A lot of sun exposure. I don't know, but very common. It only moves a short distance, so it's not a big, big deal. Uh, but anyway, back to the climate control. I really like Volvo's climate control. Um, very easy to dial the temperature you want and very easy to change what part of the person you want the air to blow on if you don't want to use the auto setting and very easy to turn down the fan when you don't want the auto setting. Um, another thing I love about Volvo's, you turn on the heated seat, it stays on indefinitely. If I turn this car off right now and turn it back on, when it, you know, say you go in the grocery store and you come back out, <clears throat> the heated seat will still be on until you turn it off, basically. Love that. I think every car should do that because who wants to have to turn it on every time you start the car? Uh, original radio, pretty basic, uh, but there it is, CD, cassette. Um, it does have two keys, but it has one master and then it has this one uh, spare key, which is not a master, but it'll do everything. It'll unlock the car, start and drive the car, but it's not a master key. The big one that's in the ignition right now is the master key that has the keyless entry and the approach lighting and the tailgate button. Um, does have all of the owner's manuals. They're here in the glove box, the complete package as it should. Um, this is a, a Scochi, I think is how you pronounce the brand. This is a magnetic phone holder. So um, this is new and there's another piece that you attach to the back of your phone like where my finger is wanting to tap right here and then your phone could magnetize itself and stick right here which would actually be a perfect position for using your phone for navigation or for audio whatever just a nice placement right there so i have the magnetic piece to go on your telephone for whoever buys the car if you want to use this i have it it's brand new in the package um, so there's that. Uh, rear view mirror is nice and clean on this car. If you know these cars well, you know these are common for the um, auto dimming gel inside to go bad and darken the mirror. Uh, this one's very nice and clean. The sunroof works perfectly. We actually had to replace the sunroof motor on this car as well, um, but it was bad, which is kind of common on these, but it's a one, one touch uh, open, one touch close. Sunroof working great now. Original glass, Volvo. Home link buttons are here for garage door openers. Sunroof shade is in good shape as well. It opens and closes nicely. No weird sounds like some Volvos. The visors are in good shape. The headliner's in great shape all the way to the back. All right, so let's continue on here. <clears throat> Back seat is just as clean as the front. I don't think too many people have been back here. Um, the back seat will flip up like this, right? I, it's gonna be hard for me to demonstrate this on the video, but uh, there's, there's photos. You can see all of my still photography and a link to the Carfax on our website. Um, let me show that right now before I forgot to say that earlier. There's our website and phone number. So you can go to the website and look at the still photography, the car facts, a written description of everything I've told you about here. You pull the headrest uh, tuck and then the seat will fold completely flat like that. Um, 
In the still photography, I also show the dog nut, which these cars have, which is awesome. That's integrated in the backs of those seats. Um, so there's that. Backs of the seats are in great shape. Um, the leather back here is excellent. Uh, the center armrest is excellent. Nice and soft. Uh, this also has the integrated booster cushion. Um, this is one of the greatest inventions that, again, every car should have. Every car should have this. This is an integrated booster cushion to keep your kid that is booster seat sized the safest way possible by being in the actual car seat that's bolted to the interior and being able to use the regular uh, shoulder belt. Fantastic. My son is uh, too big now, but when he was the size that he could use that, I used it and I think it's fantastic. And it shows Volvo's commitment to safety with having that. <clears throat> so um, here's the uh, side airbags uh, on the uh, sides and the rear even. There's the Berber mats back here. Like I said, it has all of them. Um, so manual tailgate, but it opens very easily. There's the rubber mats that I mentioned. These are Volvo branded all weather mats that snap into the floor, just like the fact, just like the Berber carpet ones. Here's the headliner from the rear. Uh, backs of the seats are excellent. You can see the Isofix uh, anchors. Looks like we're missing a plastic cover right there, but that's what those are for. For a, a, a smaller kid car seat, you know, the strap comes over, you hook it on there, but everything back here is clean and tidy. It is missing the cargo cover. There should be a cargo cover right there that would cover this area. It is missing. It's not here. A lot of people take them out, put them in their garage, and then they forget to include it when they get rid of the car. The carpet back here is clean. There's a little orange stain right here. It's very small, but very nice overall. Um, down in here, underneath this tray. This tray is great to keep like tools and jumper cables, things like that, or even you can hide them down here. Spare tire, jack tools, all that stuff's here. It's nice and clean. The battery is here. The battery is also dated, um, looks like April of this year. So it's actually pretty new. So, which makes about sense because my Volvo wagon was, it must have been a 2001. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm second guessing myself on that. My Volvo wagon was a, was a 2001, I'm pretty sure. And in 2011, I took it to have the battery tested. And the uh, Interstate, which I love Interstate batteries, by the way. Um, very awesome batteries. I've used them for many years in all my cars. Um, the I took it there to have them test it. They said there's nothing wrong with it. I said, how could there be nothing wrong with it? The battery is 10 years old and the car has 200 plus thousand miles. And they said, well, you can replace it if you want, but there's nothing wrong with it. But by the battery being back here in the back, they really do last a much uh, longer time. And it's away from the heat of the engine and, you know, just, just uh, lasts a lot longer. So here's the dog net. I'm not gonna demonstrate this, but you can see how it pulls out here. The hook on the end of it hooks into the ceiling up there and there's a connecting rod right here that extends for the other side. And then, and then they join together to make one net and right there. You can see, and my, when I, in the time when I drove my Volvo wagon, just like this, I owned two dogs who came to work with me every day because, you know, I could do that then. Um, and uh, it was that my dogs weren't ferocious by any means, but by having that net up, they I had a little one, a little miniature schnauzer, and that way, you know, she couldn't try to hop over the seat. So the net is definitely handy, and it's already right there. Very nice to use if you have dogs. The tailgate on the inside here is in great shape. This carpet and plastic is nice it's not scratched up or anything there is a little broken piece right there i think you can see the break it's not affecting anything i'm not quite sure how that happened or why or whatever the case but it's not affecting anything the gate opens and closes just fine as you can see open and close open and close um tail lights are really nice and clean 
lot of times you'll see these sunburnt if cars you know older a lot of miles sat outside a lot <clears throat> I think this car even has no oh, the gas door is locked that works you have to push the button to unlock it I think it has the original gas cap with the tether too uh, this seats just as nice as that side backs of the seats nice 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 uh, this side has the booster cushion as well same same way so easy to use too and so easy to put back you know like you're seeing me do right there when you now have an adult that needs to sit there it's the greatest design ever the booster cushion the glass headlights there's just certain things that every car should have really 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 I don't think anybody's hardly been in this passenger seat as well. And now that I get to this compartment, I'm remembering something that's a small negative that I need to show. Um, the seat's awesome. Right here, there's four drill holes and clearly what was a mount there probably was an integrated car phone or some type of mounted phone, I'm assuming, uh, that's been removed. So there are little tiny holes right here. I mean, not a big deal, at least it's on the side, but I think the overall nicety of this interior Certainly makes up for it in the low miles. There's a power seat over here as well. It's not memory like the driver, but it is power. There's the final floor mat in excellent shape. You know, two other Volvo things that I thought about when I said how I think these cars are so smartly engineered that I remembered I forgot to say. You see this little flap right here? This is for a pen holder. See the little indent? So you're supposed to keep a couple of pens right there and the little rubber piece um, keeps them in place, which I think is smart and then the little plastic clip on the windshield right there that is to hold like a parking pass or a parking ticket like you know you go to like a temporary garage like a hospital garage or a, a stadium event and you have a some type of pass that you need to show or a country club parking lot uh, you stick it right there on that clip on the windshield and then it doesn't go anywhere and then you can easily grab it and throw it away when you're done with it so <laughs> um, Let's look under the hood. Lastly, look at the welds on the door um, hardware. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful for safety. Uh, let's take a look under the hood. Uh, speaking of under the hood, before I get under there, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that our inspection also inspected the timing belt. And there is a photograph of the timing belt itself in the photos in the gallery for the ad for the car i can't show you the timing belt on this video because i'm not going to open that compartment while it's running but again go to our website and look at the still photography and the ad for the car and towards the end of the still photography where there is um, all of i take all of those pictures as well and where the images i have of this engine compartment are there is a photograph of the condition of the timing belt, which is currently in excellent condition and passed our inspection. It's underneath this cover right here. There's a photograph of it. Take a look. Engine compartment is super clean. Very, very nice. Great shape. It sounds like it should. It sounds like a little sewing machine. That's how it's supposed to sound. I do believe some of the insulator stuff has been cut away or maybe, I don't know for what reason, but um, uh, back there on the, on the engine, on the firewall there, I don't, maybe it deteriorated over time and they trimmed it off. I, I don't know if that's, uh, that's done like that. It doesn't, not gonna affect anything. Um, I think this is the engine mount that we replaced, I think. I think it's that one right there. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but it certainly looks a little newer. I think that's right. Uh, the hood pad on the bottom side of the hood here is in really nice shape, as you can see. It has all of the original labels. It's a little dusty, but it's still nice. Um, just 
going to stand here for a moment, let you hear it run. A little bit so that you can hear it a little higher rpm do that so you can hear it both ways at idle and in a higher rpm uh, fantastic double latches the way it should be the way a lot of newer uh, bmws are done and other european cars awesome safety because you've got a latch there and a latch there plus the uh, safety latch here easy to shut lightweight Also, take notice, this car is a 2004, and look how gorgeous that Volvo emblem is. I love Volvo, and I believe in the brand, and I believe in the company, and as I already stated, I enjoyed the one I had that I drove for many years just like this. And also, I haven't said this, but I'm going to say it now, my son is 10, and when he's 16, he will be driving a Volvo, period. No other car. Um, but nonetheless, look how nice that Volvo um, symbol is, the mark of the brand this still looks gorgeous newer ones they have this sticker that they used for the word volvo it comes off it looks like crap headlights they use the composite headlights it 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 they they fade they deteriorate you know they get yellow like every other car on the road my point is sometimes the no sometimes uh turn off the blinker sometimes and a lot of times, this phrase that they don't make them like they used to, or that older stuff is better, is very true. <laughs> if you know, it depends on what your objectives are. But this is a very quality car, well built, and I can attest to it from my own ownership. And I believe in it, and I believe in the brand, I like the cars, I believe in the safety, and I believe in their commitment to safety, which is why I will be putting my when he's 16 year old in a Volvo. I'm not sure what model, but I'll figure it out. But that's what he will drive. A wonderful car. I highly endorse, I highly recommend. I don't think you can go wrong with this one. With 36,500 miles, I can't say enough about this car. Thank you for watching, thanks for joining. Uh, if you have any questions that I haven't covered or answered, oh, you know what else I forgot to say? In the still photography, once again, on our website where you can see the picture of the timing belt and all my photographs, I have photos underneath the car, a couple of them that were taken by our service shop. So you can see uh, some undercar photos as well. But if there's anything that I haven't covered that you would like more information about, please reach out and I'd be happy to answer your questions. And I thank you for watching and um, Wow, almost 29 minutes. I guess I can talk a lot. Certainly like to make videos of cars and it's my passion to do them. So I hope you've enjoyed my presentation and make it a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace, bye-bye.